we are looking to grow internationally. Okay. Greece is on our list. Some place called Athens, you may or may not have heard of it. Another place called Acropolis, you may or may not have heard of it. Well, there are Airbnbs next to it. There are, now I'm not saying that we're going to target just Airbnbs because it's got to make sense as a long-term rental as well. But this market depends on Airbnbs. Athens, Greece depends on it. I don't know if you guys have, know about the, the economy there, but it's not the best. And they're hoping for outside, in, or outside capital to come in and buy these historic homes that are walking distance to Acropolis. And I'm going to tell you right now, because of textbooks, Acropolis is not going to go unpopular. Okay? It's not. More people are going to want to visit that than, let's say, Old Folsom. OK, or, you know, historic downtown Sacramento. It's cool. It's great. But Acropolis, Great Wall of China, I, I mean, the Louvre, right? All these, you know, landmark places are where we want to buy real estate, OK? Because that will weather a real estate storm. It's not only America that deals with the declining real estate market here and there. So it, it really flows across the world. So we're positioned now to start working in Athens, Greece. Uh, we're partnering with a, a great friend and partner. He was a uh, um, executive with Home Depot, retired early, moved out to Greece, wants to implement Bellwood into their real estate portfolio. So we have the opportunity, guys. How many of us have said, wow, it'd be cool to own some real estate in Greece or Rome, Italy, right? now? because of Bellwood and because of our app and because of our relationships, something like this is actually within grasp. And you could say, hey, I'm an investor internationally and here's how much I make, okay? So same method of investing, we fractionalize it. Uh, it we, we give the lion's share to the investor because that's how we roll.